All right, moments ago, Intel, the world's largest chip maker, posted a second quarter uh, net loss of $398 million and a loss per share of $0.07. Cents. Are we seeing that here on Intel? Because I'm looking at uh, $0.07 cents in the positive and uh, we're looking at $0.18 cents when you take out uh, uh, the items. Let's talk to Manpreet Singh. He's an equity analyst at Profit Investment Management, where they own about 1.6 million shares of Intel. Manpreet, let's talk about what you see, first of all, in the results here. Uh, it looks like uh, beating by a lot. We were looking for a $0.07. Cent, uh, we were looking for a seven cent profit. We got 18 cents uh, when you adjust for uh, items. What do you see? Yeah, they came in at 18 cents, you know, with gross margin much higher than, uh, you know, what the street was expecting. Um, you know, they said they saw things pick up in February and things have continued to pick up, you know, through the really through June, month, through the June month. What you do you know, think? Really what do you think? Sorry. What do you think about the gross margin? I mean, uh, is it key? Is it the most key of any of the statistics here? If you look, especially the third quarter, that's what we've heard from uh, investors. I would agree. You know, gross margins are the most important thing to look at because, you know, it shows how profitable the company really is. You know, they could bring down margins and sell probably more product, but then they wouldn't make as much money. All right. Here you see the after hours trade uh, uh, up 7% there to $18. We're looking at... Uh, Revenue also that's better than expected uh, this quarter and the forecast for next quarter. Uh, what does this say about the, the company's business? It shows that Intel continues to dominate uh, its competitors in the semiconductor space, and there is demand you know, from you know, the emerging markets as well as domestic markets for you know, PCs. All right, let's, are PC meter, makers then ordering new parts uh, to meet demand? Are they building uh, inventory again? Are we going to see that turnaround? Because we've been hearing so much about inventory coming down. I think in the first quarter, overall, we saw the biggest inventory drop in history. Uh, are we seeing that pick back up now? This quarter, we saw Intel reduce inventory by $420 million, which is a big number. You know, the, the inventory was very lean, you know, for, for computer makers, you know, in the past. And, you know, they're just working through that inventory. And, you know, we'll see the real test is this quarter back to school, whether PC sales continue to, you know, have the surge that they've had in the last few months. So do we see that really bounce back then in the next quarter? It's time will tell, but I think you'll see a huge bounce back towards the later half of the year as the back to school cycle and the Christmas cycle, you know, happen. And, and, and then, of course, you have Windows 7. I mean, we were talking to an economist today who said that's going to be a real mover as far as even the GDP figure. How important is this to Intel? Windows 7 is critical. You know, Windows XP came and it flopped. Vista came and it flopped. Um, Windows 7 will be very critical, you know, to, to PC demand. And Intel will be one of the biggest beneficiaries along with Microsoft. Along with, uh, you think Intel and Microsoft are the biggest beneficiaries. What about the, the Dell news, though? It was uh, bearish. They are seeing pressures on their margins. How do you sort of align these two things? You know, it's clear Intel is a supplier to Dell, and, you know, other, there are many other component makers that are suppliers to Dell, and they're obviously seeing prices increase because of demand. You know, if component pricing was decreasing, you know, it would be much worse for Intel and, you know, some of its competitors. All right, and what do you see as far as uh, what we're going to get tomorrow? I mean, it looks like Intel's reacting a lot differently in the after hours. Goldman Sachs, you know, beats expectations and goes down, but it's a much different animal, isn't it, as far as trading? It is. You know, financials have much more higher beta, you know, in today's market, and, you know, technology is seen as a safe haven, which it has been, you know, the last few months. I continue to see it as being a safe haven, you know, for the next few months, and I think Intel should react positively when it opens in the, in the morning. And the rest of tech stocks as well? Do we see a pickup in the NASDAQ? We will. We will see tech stocks, you know, perform very well tomorrow because of the positive Intel earnings that came out after the bell. All right. Hey, Monpreet, we appreciate you joining us. Monpreet Singh there uh, from Profit Investment Management talking about Intel. Now, let's keep our focus on tech here. How much is Facebook worth? According to the Russians, it's worth plenty. We'll tell you just how much that's coming up.